Welcome everyone to how to get buyer leads using Facebook posts, boosts, and ads. Um, as I was mentioning to James prior to the class starting, there are other recordings, other classes that you can find at https gmarino.valuedlender.com. And I'm just gonna show you real quickly where those are. If you go over to, let me see here. Okay, I'll just go to it. It's https forward slash gmarino.valuedlender.com. And what you'll see here is many different tabs, but the one that you want to pay attention to says recorded realtor marketing classes, the drop down, and there's classes from the killer listing presentation to uh, how to how to win every expired listing, how to create a person uh, uh, free dynamic personal website. Uh, there's all sorts of great material in here. Feel free to look at it. One that you might want to take a look at in particular too is a home buyer workshop for for buyers. Uh, if anybody is interested in partnering with uh, First Centennial, feel free to. Uh, we, you know, we will we will be your guest speaker. You'll be the host. If you got six people that you know, which I believe most realtors know more than six people, but if you know six people that would like to learn about down payment assistance, how they can buy a home for as little as one percent, uh, you know, we will host that uh, webinar for you. You'll be the MC, and then you'll introduce us as your guest speaker. All right, going back to our agenda for today. And again, before we get into the agenda, I just want to do a, a small little commercial. Uh, I want to let at least uh, introduce some other people that are on the first uh, Centennial of the Marino team. Uh, Tanya Reyes. Tanya, are you, uh, can you unmute yourself and just say hello? There we go. <laughs> I had to click the unmute button. <laughs> so, Tanya. hello. Tiny, tell them that you know, your background with military and that uh, you you do a great job with, with VA loans and other types of loans. Yeah, so I am a Desert Shield, Desert Storm veteran of the United States Army. Um, so I served many, many moons ago. And so I specialize in VA loans because the veterans, we, we tend to have like a camaraderie experience where... Um, you know, we just connect on a different level. And so I, I am able to connect with those veterans of yours uh, to do their VA loans and help them get the most of their benefits. Um, the other thing that I try to specialize in and do really well in is the uh, down payment assistance programs through IDA. Um, I'm one of those uh, lenders that if you have a borrower who is credit challenged and needs some work, a lot of lenders don't take the time to work with those people, but I will. Um, especially if they're looking to get down payment assistance and things like that, I can work with them. And sometimes it takes three months and sometimes it takes six months and sometimes it takes longer, but I will continue to work with those clients to see what we can do for them in time. That's, that's great. Well, thank, thank you, Tanya. And, and I know several of you know her, so feel free to reach out to Tanya at any point in time when you need assistance. Uh, ben Rosales is also on our team. Ben, are you, are you here? Do you want to unmute and just say hello? Ben may be attending to other matters. I know he, he signed up. Anyway, so let's move on. Um, growing your business. If you guys need help with like the killer listing presentation um, and any of the other classes, go to that uh, gmarino.valuedlender.com site and take advantage of those classes. Uh, if you need a, a, a technology tool that's going to help you uh, not only brand yourself, but you'll be able to allow your clients to search the MLS, calculate mortgage payments, apply for pre-approval, apply for down payment assistance, up to $10,000 so they can buy a home for as little as 1% of the purchase price. If you wanna offer them a sure close closing so they can make a cash offer, if you wanna offer them hybrid closings where their loan documents are signed electronically the morning of the closing day in the comfort of their home so they can spend far less time at the title company, 
then go to your app store, your play store and download FCM Express and pick Tony Marino or Tanya Reyes as your loan officer. Done with the commercial. So let's get going. We're here to talk about buyer leads from Facebook. Let's do an overview of Facebook first. Facebook is like a pyramid. You got a little pointed top at the very top and you get, you know, you're widening the base. Whenever you post to Facebook, whatever you post to Facebook, and we're gonna talk about what you do post later on here, only 5% of your friends or the likes on your business page see your post. Why do I say that? Because again, Glenn Marino, for example, me, I have over 3000 friends, let's say on Facebook. In reality, I only have two, my wife and probably you know several of my daughters. But I mean, um, on the people that see your posts, the people that, that like your business page, see those posts, are the people that you have either liked their pages or liked their comments or commented on their page and vice versa, those that have commented or liked the, uh, material that you've posted. So again, when you, when you think about it, if you have a thousand friends on Facebook, 5% is 50 people. So when you're posting, you're only getting about 50 people who in essence are seeing that post, not a big audience. So what we're gonna do here today is we're gonna talk about how as a pyramid, how do we go from 50 to 150, you know, to thousands of people who can see our posts that we have a bigger sphere of influence on our products and services. So you can increase your reach by liking or commenting other friends' posts. So again, if you're in Facebook and you're spending, you know, five minutes a day on it, go in there and click likes, comment um, on people's pages that, that you'd like to interact with. Those are the people that will then see your posts in the future. Um, Again, you, in order to broaden Facebook, you're gonna start out with a business page post. Why do I say that you know, we're gonna start out with a business page post? Because business page posts, you can create ads. You cannot create ads off of a personal post. So when you look at say Glenn Marino's Facebook and you see my personal page, if I've got something that, you know, that shows that I went on a hike with my wife and it's you know, beautiful scenery, you can't create any, any ads off of that. But if I, you know, if, if if I do a business post in my business page, I can I can I can then create an ad, I can boost it and get it out to thousands of people. So you broaden who sees your post by sharing it to your personal page. So if I start out on the business, I can also then share it and put it on my personal page. So now more people see it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to also share it with groups. Again, something that people on this call you may or may not be doing, but what you should be doing is look for groups that have uh, a similar affinity to what you're doing. I've got uh, like Chicagoland Real Estate. I've got uh, Home Smart Realty. Uh, I've got How to Get Pre-Approved. These are all different groups within Facebook. So when I post, if only 50 people are going to see my post, if I go to one group, that's another 50. I go to a second group, that's another 50. Now I'm up to 150. If I go to a third group, that's 200 people that are now seeing my post and all I had to do was click a share button. And you further broaden your reach by, by boosting your post or creating an ad to reach thousands of people. And that's what we're gonna be doing later on today. So all you need is a Facebook business page. If you don't have one, you don't know how to create one, contact me if you don't know how and we'll create one together. We'll do a Zoom call. Then what you're gonna do is after you have a business page, you're gonna create content. Well, as a realtor, you guys have tons of content. You have listings. That's, you know, that's, that's something to shout out. You have open houses. I know you haven't had a lot of open houses in the past, but it's becoming more prevalent now because the, the real estate market is turning more into a buyer's market. You know, just cause you put something in the MLS, it's not flying off the shelf with, you know, 20, 20 offers. You're having to do price reductions. You're having to do marketing again. Uh, you have you can uh, you can post or advertise down payment assistance up to ten thousand dollars for a buyer. I mean that's something to shout out. If buyers all of a sudden start knowing that you or your team has ten thousand dollars, they might be interested in saying, "Hey, I'd like more information on this." How about if you let them know that you that they could buy a home for as little as one percent of the purchase price? Under IDA, that's the only thing they have to do is put up 1%. We can show you, they, you know, combination of you and us can show them how 
they can buy a home for as little as 1% of the purchase price. You can also shout out, what is your home worth? You can also shout out how to buy a four unit building for as little as three and a half percent down. I mean, I, I talk to a lot of people and they say, oh, if I could buy a four unit or three unit building, I'm gonna have to put 20, 25 percent. I don't have that kind of down payment. And then when I tell them, if you could live in one of the units and it'd be owner occupied, would you then, you know, would you like to buy it for only three and a half percent down? And they go, oh my God, that's fantastic. So again, you've got a lot of activity that you can you can shout out in Facebook. Also, content you can post a free report, such as uh, a neighborhood a neighborhood report, or the thing that I like is ninety things you can't afford to neglect when selling your home, or two hundred and one things you do when you're selling a person's home, or how about the best real estate deals in your area, in Naperville, in Bolingbrook, in Tinley Park. How about a list of foreclosed homes in your area? Those are all great shout outs that you could be putting into your Facebook and putting a link in there, a landing page that says, for more information, click this link and I'll send you the information. You can also post videos, which is a totally different class, but it's kind of fun to do a little video, which basically has the same content as what we're gonna put in today, but it's in video form and you know, people like to see videos. After we do our posting, after we create content and post, we're gonna capture leads by creating a landing page. Well, again, a landing, a landing page um, is, is going to be something like this. I wanna show you what a landing page could look like. Here's a sample landing page for buyer leads. I'm very interested in home ownership. I wanna build equity, fix my housing costs and grow my wealth. I wanna learn more about the benefits of home ownership and down payment assistance. It's easy to get started. Please contact me to get started, name, email, phone number, and they click submit. We're gonna build that today real quickly in about two minutes. Okay, going back to our agenda. Then what you're gonna do is you, you wanna try and drive traffic to that content. Well, we're gonna do some social posts today. Like I said, we're gonna share it to our personal page, to our groups, and then we're gonna create online ads. Remember when creating commercials or branding yourself in Facebook, that commercials have to be consistent. Meaning how about if you do it on a daily basis for five minutes? I mean, you're in, you're, you're your own business. You're, you're your own small business person. And you should be advertising in Facebook, in Instagram, because again, when I do a, an ad in Facebook, it automatically, it's synced to my Instagram. I get the same ad going in Instagram. So I'm giving you, those who are in attendance today, I'm gonna give you six Facebook templates, posting templates, in which you can post them, one on Monday, one on Tuesday, one on Wednesday. And here is an example of what that looks like. So for example here, post Monday. If given $10,000 today, would you buy a home tomorrow? You know, you know, let's think about it. Would that be something that if you or I, and we were, you know, we were a renter or we were you know, thinking about becoming a, a, an upgrade and home buyer, but we didn't just have enough down payment money. Well, if given 10,000 today, would you buy a home tomorrow for existing homeowners and first time homeowners? Click this link to find out if you qualify for up to 10,000 in down payment and closing costs. I think that's kind of a cool looking ad. It's got a, you know, it's got a, a strap of money. People like money. So it might just capture their eye as they're, you know, looking around within Facebook. How about on Tuesday, you post buying a home just got easier. If you could contribute at least 1% of the purchase price from your own funds and the remainder from down payment assistance or seller credits, would you buy a home tomorrow? Click this link. It's amazing. Find out if you're eligible for up to $10,000 in down payment assistance. Again, the first one on Monday, we showed them money. Is money a motivator? Here, we're showing them 1%. It's having to come up with only 1% of the purchase price. And when you think about it, a $300,000 house, 1% is $3,000. Again, if they're looking at the math and they say, well, if I were to just stay a renter, my security deposit is $1,500. My, my first month's rent is, is $1,500. So security and first month's rent is $3,000. I can give it to the landlord and own nothing, or I can find out more about this program that this wonderful realtor's just posted that says that I might be able to become a homeowner 
and buy an appreciating asset and build some wealth and build some equity by coming up with 1% of the purchase price. Again, we're not you know, going to some of the seller parts of it, but I just want to show you on Wednesday, you could be posting, get a free report on 90 things you can't neglect when selling your home. And here is, you know, Jake Kilt showing that, you know, he's got a, a report with 90 things that you shouldn't neglect when selling your home. And then on Thursday, maybe you want to post, what is your home worth? You notice that in each one of these posts, there's always this blue link. There's, we're not just trying to project an image out there. We're trying to project an interest that people can click on something and say, hey, they're raising their hand. Hey, contact me. I'd like more information on this subject matter. And then here's just some other variations of what is your home worth? And how about on Friday, you say, would you like to buy a four unit occupied owner building for only three and a half percent down? Wow, amazing. If you own or occupy a four unit building, there is now special financing that grants you 96 and a half percent financing with only three and a half percent down. Let's say it again, only three and a half percent down. Again, great posts, but then you're gonna start this all over again because how hard is it each week to just copy the text? If you want, I would just change the image. I'd go look for another four unit building and I would put that into Facebook the following Friday. A new image to people means a new post. It's something that's a little more interesting. So again, any one of these posts with a new image is going to give you the ability to, to repost. And again, I can tell you this much. I have posted these in my Facebook over time. Do people automatically you know, sign up to say, yeah, I, I'm interested. I want, to, I want more information on this. They may not this week, but if I'm posting in the second week, if I'm posting in the third week, and it's only taking me less than five minutes to, to, to upload a new picture, takes a minute, to copy and paste the text from my last week's posting, that takes all 30 seconds. And you know what, what it, what I'm, I'm getting from that is I'm able to keep in front of people the fact that I have $10,000. I'm able to keep in front of people that I can help them become a homeowner for 1% of the purchase price. It may not be today that they are, are going to act, but by the mere fact that it, it's like you seeing commercials on TV, you see that Pepsi commercial or you see that you know Taco Bell commercial or whatever, you know. It's, it's today you see it. You see it again in the evening. You see it again the next day. You see it the next week. And when you're finally thirsty for that Pepsi or that cold beer, that commercial replays in your head and says, you know what? I'm going to act on it. It's the same thing that you're doing here. You're showing people who you interact with, that you like, you comment with, people that you, that you send, send this out to groups, people that you send it out to ads. And they, when they're ready, they're going to know you are the go-to realtor that has these products and services. Okay, so let's go back to our agenda. So you've seen the, the posting templates. So let's start with creating a landing page in agent marketing. What I'm going to do is once you, once you create this landing page, remember that, that landing page that I showed you earlier, once it's created, you spend no more time on it. It's there. It's something that you're going to use always to capture people's name, email, and phone number. Now, for those of you on the call that don't have a free agent marketing account, all you have to do is send Tony Marino at tmarino at gofcm.com an email that, that tells them what password do you want to use. He'll, use. he'll create the username for you. It's going to be your first name and your last name. There's many reasons why we use your name as, as the username. Because again, your personal websites and everything will then have your name on it as, as you use other resources or benefits of an agent marketing account. And so all you have to do is send Tony a password you want, along with obviously your email, and he'll send you an invite in which the invite will say, well, continue the sign up process, upload a picture of yourself, you know, what company are you with, HomeSmart, and you know, the, the address of the company and all that great stuff. So Again, if you don't have one, get one. They're free. It doesn't cost you anything. 
So you may as well take advantage of the, of the resources. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna log into your free agent marketing account. Okay, so let's do that. Cause what I'm gonna do is we're gonna create a, um, a landing page. Let's just read what we have to do. We're gonna click on the leads tab. Then we're gonna click on squeeze pages, which are landing pages. And we're gonna click add new. We wanna add a new landing page. We're gonna name the landing page. We're gonna select a background. We're gonna type in the text that we want on the landing page. And then we're gonna change the button, the red button to submit and click save. So let's quickly do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to uh, agent marketing. So let's see if we can, if agent marketing's open. Uh, it is. So again, it said, let's go to, you know, and when you log in, you're going to have a, a, you're going to have all your tabs on the left-hand side. It said, go, go to leads. Okay. Then it says, go to squeeze pages. You see squeeze pages down here, click it. Then it says, click add new. Okay. Then it says, let's pick a template. Uh, I'll tell you that the, the best one that I find for modifying, changing to what I'm, I want to do is called the special loan info template. So I put a little dot in my little radio dial there and I click next. It then says, name it. Okay. Well, um, what I'd like to do is I might like to say, uh, I am interested and then what i typically do is i ask you to put your initials mine are gm i have one called gm already so i'm going to call it a g f m to differentiate it and then there's a dot so so far it's this is the url it's i am interested gfm dot but i don't want special financing.org i just want them to get more information so I'm gonna click on getmoreinformation.org. So I've just created, that was real real simple, right? We created this free URL, I'm interested GFM to getmoreinformation.org. And with that, all you have to do then is hit submit. If for some reason it's already taken, it would error out and it would say that name is taken. You would modify it by maybe modifying your initials like I did here. I had one called GM and I made it GFM. Cool. So now what I wanna do is I want to edit this template. And the thing I want to do first is select the background. So the background button is right here. When I click background, Agent Marketing has about oh a dozen different templates. You can you can use a customized image, meaning a, a picture that you like, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to make it easy for us. I'm just, I'm just gonna pick a picture of a housing neighborhood, like this one right here. So when I click it, that becomes my background. Okay, and then the next thing is it says, type in the text you want. So I clicked on this and it becomes like a Word document. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna backspace out this because I don't want a special loan program. What I wanna do is I want what we saw on that previous uh, sample. And it said the following, it said, I am very interested in home ownership, exclamation point. It says, I want to build equity fix my housing costs and grow my wealth. Sounds good. Then we had in there, I want to learn more about the benefits of home ownership and down 
payment assistance. Cool. Done. All right. So after we put that in there, the thing that I've changed in the past, it says it's easy to get started. Try to move us out of the way. It's easy to get started. We'll find a program that's right for you. What I typically do is I'll put in there, uh, I click on the line that says, we'll find a program that's right for you. And I just type in there, uh, please contact me to get started. So let's just take this out. And it just says, uh, please contact me to get started. Cool. And it is name, email, phone number. They'll, they'll solve the security key, eight and one is nine, great. And then what I do is I change the tell me more, which uh, I, don't, I don't tell me more, I want them to submit it. So what I'm gonna do, that's the button on the left-hand side here. So I click button and that's where it says, tell me more. When I drop my cursor down, it turns black, which I don't really understand. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna backspace that out. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to type in Submit. And I'll put an exclamation point. Okay. Having done all that, I'm going to hit save the changes. Okay. So I saved the changes. And so now let me open this up. So now we've created a landing page. That was pretty simple, wasn't it? I'm very interested in home ownership. Very easy to get started. Contact me. They hit submit. Oh, there's one other thing that I'd like to change. Click the uh, bring this back so I can save it. Down here, it says, with years of industry experience, a wide range of services, we can help find a program that matches your lifestyle. It's important to find a balance in our loan officers. Forget our loan officers. How about and how about my team? Because you're a team. You got more than just you in, in your business. You've got lenders, you've got appraisers, you've got Home inspectors, you got a lot of people. My team can answer any questions you may have. Fill out the form for more information. Receive a call back. Very cool. Hit save the changes. Okay, we've done. We're done with the landing page. So let's then move on. Okay, so here's our landing page. So let's go back to our agenda. So we've created the landing page. Now what we're gonna do is the technique for creating the Facebook post. What we're gonna do is we're gonna look at my cheat sheet, my template. And today what we're gonna do is we're gonna create um, not, you know, the post and we're going to create the ad for, if given $10,000 today, would you buy a home tomorrow? Kind of an attractive little post. And we're gonna post by opening to your Facebook business page first. The thing that I want, you to make sure of is that your privacy setting is set for public and not restricted to just friends. I've had some people say, well, Glenn, I can't seem to do an ad um, or I can't seem to share this with groups. And then we look at their privacy setting and that's because all their posts only go to friends. Well, Facebook is honoring your request. You only want it to go to friends. Ads go to people that are not necessarily your friends. They're going out to you know the public. Um, the same thing when you're sharing to a group, there's people in that group that are not your friends. So Facebook will not allow you to share to groups. They will not allow you to do ads if you're restricted your privacy to friends. So it's just a, telling you, make sure it, you're set at public. Um, so let's, you know, what, what do we need to create a post? The first thing you're always gonna do is you're gonna, you're gonna upload an image. So let's, you're gonna go to Word and it will create your own image and then save it to the, your desktop. And once it's created, you're gonna save it as a JPEG using TechSmith Capture. For the TechSmith Capture, this used to be Jing for people that have you know, seen me use this before. Uh, Jing is now, uh, is now called TechSmith Capture. For a free download, you're gonna to go to this techsmith.com forward slash Jing tool HTML. And again, I can show that to you. It is right here. It's this TechSmith Jing tool HTML. Again, the, I'm gonna send you the agenda. It'll have this link and there's this free download. And all you have to do is tell them whether you have a, a Mac or whether you have a PC and it will download it for you. 
Uh, going back to the agenda. So, or you can go to Word and you can click insert, click pictures and find stock images. Or lastly, you can go to Google images for a non-licensable image and save it to your desktop. Okay, so let's, let's at least, you know, let's at least get to that point where we've uploaded an image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to my Facebook. Let's go find my Facebook. Okay, I am going to, I have to move this down a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click, I wanna to go to my business page. So up here in the upper right corner, you see my picture? I'm in my personal account right now, but I wanna switch it where I says, see all profiles. And I've got like 50 of them. But what I want is I want my business page which is called the Marino team at First Centennial Mortgage. So I'm gonna put a little dot in there. And it's going to switch me over to the Marino team at First Centennial Mortgage. Um, but, but, but. And there I am. Okay, so I'm now at the business page, the Marino team at First Centennial Mortgage. And what I wanna do is I scroll down, I'm looking to do a post, right? In fact, here was one that I did yesterday. I did it with the 1%, okay? So we're gonna be doing something similar today. And what I wanna do is I wanna upload a photo, right? We said, so let's go to photo. And what it's looking for is it's saying, you know, add a photo. When I click on it, it's going to tell me where, where is it. And notice again, remember we talked about, are you public? Are you private? Are you friends? You want it to be public so that you can share and do ads with it. All right, so we're going to add a photo. Um, I think what I'm going to do for, for sake of, of ease is I'm just going to go to, I'm going to go to Google Images. Uh, you can create your own by, uh, own image by going to Word and using Word, but let's just go over here to Google Images. And at Google Images, I'm I'm looking for some I'm looking for a stack of money, right? So let's just say I'm looking for ten thousand dollars. There it is, ten thousand dollars. And one of the things that you want to avoid is, do you see when I put my cursor on some of this money, it says licensable, licensable, licensable. You're gonna have to get, you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna need to sign up and in essence, buy the right to use that image. So I would avoid any, you, you might, might, it says only use those that say non-licensable images. So again, um, you can, you know, here's one that is a stack of money that doesn't have, that it's licensable, um, licensable. Here's a stack that doesn't, licensable. So let's just use this one here for sake of discussion. I'm gonna click on it. I'm going to right click and I'm going to save the image as. And it says in my notes that what you want to do is you want to save it to your desktop. So here it says desktop. And what I'd, I'd like to do is I would like it to, oh, that's not going to work. It has to be a JPEG file. You see where it says WBP file? So we would not use this, this picture. So let's close that out. Let's see about. Um, Another let's right click, let's save the image as. And do you see down here where it says JPEG? And again, in my notes that I'm sending to you, it says it must be a JPEG. So it is saying this is a JPEG and it's a 
stack of ten thousand dollars so i think what i'll do is i'll just shorten the name of the file and it's going to go into my desktop like i said and you're going to click save okay so now let's go back to my facebook first thing we said was we wanted to add a photo so we're going to click on add a photo and it opens up to my desktop and it says stacks of ten thousand dollars that's the one that on 919 here 937 we just saved this so click on it and it opened and the stack of money shows up in our creative post in facebook going back to our agenda the next thing it says is click upload the photo and select it from your desktop we did then it says add text in the area where it says what's on your mind by copying from glenn's template or from one of your prior week's posts what i mean there is you know if if you've already posted this but you're just changing the image and this is week number two that you're doing this it didn't take us long to find a, an image the text is the text and it already has your landing page in it so it's going to take you all 30 seconds to go to last week's post copy the text and then paste it in here so but today i'm going to use glenn's cheat sheet it says because i can go to by copying from glenn's template so i'm going to go to glenn's template because i'm going to send i'm going to be sending it out to you and here is the text that we can use i'm going to copy it i'm going to go back over to my facebook and i am going to put in where it says what's on your mind that's what it says in my notes click there and paste very cool you can if there's any little characters you don't want get rid of them now it does say then in, in my notes that it says now get rid of glenn that's glenn's landing page but you just created a landing page five minutes ago that you're never going to have to create it again in your agent marketing account and so what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to agent marketing and here it is i'm interested gfm click on it to open it up there's the link up above here copy it when you copy it, go back over to your Facebook. And now what you're going to do is you're going to take out Glenn's link. Boom. And you're going to paste. I'm interested GFM. That's the one we just created. Perfect. And I have it again in this in this uh, post down here. So once again, take out Glenn's link and paste in your link very cool okay let's go to the let's go next to what what our agenda tells us to do so it says change the landing page from glenn's links to your landing page link we just did that click the post button so that you can so that you can see it and then you're going to see that five percent of the people now can see this post and you want to check the links in your post to see that they work. Don't assume that they work if you you know you need to click them. So let's go back over here to Facebook. And and it said to click post, which is down here the blue button. And we're going to now test to see that the links work. Okay, I'm in my business account. And we have this beautiful, if given $10,000 today, would you buy a home tomorrow for existing and first time homeowners click. Now we want to test the links, right? Click the link. You're going to go to an, Facebook is saying you're going to an outside link, follow the link, click follow the link. Ba boom. I'm very interested in home ownership. Now what they can do is if they fill in their name, their email and their phone number, and hit submit, you will get an email and a text message. You'll get both from Agent Marketing 
saying you got a lead. And what are you going to do with it? You're going to call that person. You're going to find out, you know, where are they in the thinking process? You know, have they started to look at dream homes? Have they, uh, have they gotten themselves pre-approved? Do they know what their credit score is? Well, my team, which is what the realtors, my team can, you know, can help you with all that while I'm looking at dream homes to help you. So we know now that the links work, which is great. So let's go back to our agenda. We now have at least 5% of the people that we like, that, uh, that are friends of ours, they're seeing, they're seeing this, this post. Now we want to broaden it. Going back to the pyramid, we want to get more people to see this post. So what you can do is in the upper right-hand corner, click on the picture of you, and it will drop down your profiles. Click on your personal profile, and you should see your picture in the upper right-hand corner. Then click share, and you can share to the, you know, to the, to the feed. You're going to click share to feed to post to your timeline, expanding the reach by clicking the share button under the post. So here, here's what I mean by that. We got to do is we want now want to take that business page post and we want to get it to our personal page. How do we do that? We come over here to our Facebook. And what we're going to do is in the upper right hand corner, here's our profiles. You can see that this is my business profile. It doesn't have my picture on it as the business page uh, picture. So what I'm doing is I'm going to click on it and see all profiles. I want to go to, I want to be posting as Glenn Marino now. So what I want to do now is I want to come down here, it says, and I want to click the share button. And when I click share, it's going to say share to feed. Remember that was in my notes. Click share to feed. So I'm going to click share to feed. And what I'm going to do here is I am going to then, um, yeah, I like it. It's got, you know, it's got everything that I'm, I'm looking for. It's the Merino team that's now going to be posting to uh, the feed. So I'm going to hit post. So now let's go back to let's go back to my uh, personal page and let's see if we don't have this posted on my personal page. So if I go over to my personal profile. Let's get over here to my personal page. Glenn, they're working on that problem. Um, you're not gonna be able to get into your personal, this is Ben, I'm sorry. Um, hi, Ben. Hi, you're not gonna be able to get into your profile unless you click out of it entirely and then come back in. Okay, well, what I'll do is I will leave this and I will just open up another tab here and I'll call it Facebook. And let's get over here to Just click on your picture, Glenn. Go back up there. Oh. Okay, that, that worked too. Okay. It should bring me to my personal page. Okay. So we're back to the personal page. And 
And <laughs> I want to know where that we should have been able to get this over to our personal page. Um, worst case is I'm not going to spend the time, you know, um, where worst case is we would repost on the personal page, you know, the same thing that we just did on the business page. And again, how fast and how easy is it? It's very easy. It's like, again, what's on your mind. You're going to click photo. What you're going to do is you're going to go add a photo. You're going to click the stack of the, of, of the money that we just did. You're going to click open. It grabs that. What's on your mind? We're going to go grab from the template the language here. We're going to copy it. We're going to go back over here to my personal page. We're going to click paste. I'm going to get, I'm going to go back over here to agent marketing to the squeeze page. I'm going to copy the link to my new landing page that is yours. I'm going to go back over here to Facebook, to this Facebook, which is the personal one. And I'm going to take out the old link. I'm going to paste the new link. I'm going to take out the old link. And I'm going to paste the new link. Okay, and with that, I'm going to hit post. Okay, so now what I've done is I have this now posted both in my business and in my personal. And again, if I want to now get this out to other groups, I'm going to click share. And do you see where it says share to a group? Click on share to a group. And again, if you haven't, um, if you haven't added yourself to groups, I've added myself to um, garage sales, uh, to real real estate uh, groups, Chicago land home for sale. I'm just going to give you one group. I think I'm going to go to. Let's go to Home Smart. There, there, Home Smart Realty Group. Okay. I'm going to click on on the group, and what I'm going to do there is I'm going to all I have to do is hit post, and this will then post onto Home Smarts, and I'm getting the post that I'm only going to get 50 if I just leave it in my personal or my business. Each of those will get 50 of my friends or the people that like my business page to see it. Now I'm getting it out to another 50, but I've got you know I've spent the time going into groups, and I must have 25 different groups. So I can keep getting another 50 and another 50 and another 50 by keep going to different groups. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna hit post. And now it says it's shared to your group. Pretty, pretty doggone simple. So we've posted into the business, we've posted into the personal, we shared it to groups now. So again, the pyramid's getting wider, correct? We're getting more and more people to see our post. So now lastly, let's do a boost, which is effectively an ad. Uh, Glad, Glad, I'm sorry. Could you do could you show me again that how do you share with others group? Okay. What, the first just, thing you need just, to do, the first yeah. thing you need to do is is go to other groups. So for example, um, I went to Home Smart yeah. uh, Realty. And in there, I was able to, you have to ask to join. And so you're, you know, and I went to Chicagoland Real Estate. Yes, yes. And I asked I, to join. Once you join, when you click, when you click this button down here. Oh, share. The, oh, post, okay. The share button, James. When you hit that share button, okay, it opens got you. up to all these different ways you can share. You're going to go share, share to a group. group. Okay, got it. And when you got do, it. now it opens up all of the groups that you have joined. And so 
you know, theoretically, depending upon, you know, what you're posting, you'll post it to as many of these groups as you can. And, uh, you, you know, put the name of the group in up here where it says share for groups, put the name here, it pops up. And then all you have to do is click, you know, the share, the, the post button and it posts it to that group. Does that make sense? Yes, thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, so let's go back to the agenda and then we're, we're just about done here. You get this moved in out of the way. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna get over here to the agenda. So we shared to our other Facebook pages, garage sales, real estate, Go back to your business page and make sure that the profile picture in the upper right is a picture of your business page. You can click the share button under the business page and click share to a group. Um, you can click on that group you wish to share. And, and if you don't have groups, just like I mentioned, ask to join the group. Click the post button and now you've, you've shared your post with that group. Repeat for each group you want to share with. Then click the boost post button to create the ad that goes on out to thousands of people. So, you know, we, we started out with 50. We shared it to say six different groups. That's 50 times six, that's 300 more people. So getting, good, great, getting greater exposure. And now what we wanna do is go out to thousands of people, the base of the pyramid. So what we're gonna do is let's click the boost. It says, we're gonna leave, we're, the, the goal button will stay automatic. We're gonna select the button called learn more. Uh, there's gonna be a destination. We're gonna click on website. Let's go and make all, let's make sense of all this. Cause again, these steps will make sense to you once you see it in person. So let's go back over here to Facebook, run the third part of this. We wanna be in our business page. So here's our business page, okay? And let me just move us over. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna to go to, let's, we're in up here, we're in our business account. You can see the picture. Oops. Didn't mean to change it. See the profiles. Well, you see how you're on your business page and now you have your picture up there? Yep. Now, if you shared it, it would go on your personal page. When you did it earlier, the reason it didn't go is because it was still the team one. Oh, was the team one? Okay, because yeah. I thought I changed. Yeah. I agree with you. It didn't and work. My notes, and my notes say that. So when you get the notes, it does say change this to your personal picture. Yeah. And then when you hit the share button in the business page, it should go, go on your... yours. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Sabina. I appreciate that. <laughs> and so again, I want to change my profile. So it's just the business page come on there is the merino team I want to make sure that the picture in the upper right hand corner so we're on the business page and the picture is the team picture very good so what we want to do is go to it says go to our post that we did in the business page here it is and do you see underneath it it says that we can create an ad. And again, if we had, and again, we'll, we'll do this as create an ad. Many a times it might say boost an ad. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say create an ad. We're gonna create a new ad. It says the goal, I usually leave it as automatic. Let Facebook determine what, what the goal is. Uh, let Facebook optimize your ad crib by testing a mix of headlines and images to show people. I would, I'm gonna leave that alone. It says, use a post. We're gonna use that post that we just had in our business page. So there's the text. Um, Media, select multiple images. Nope, we're not gonna select multiple. We like the image that we have. Um, 
the, the button that we want to use. And again, the headline, I'm going to, I'm going to change the headline from the Merino lending team to home ownership just got easier. It's got a limitation on the number of characters. Let's go home ownership made easy. All right, the button, we always want, in my notes, it says always click learn more. We want learn more. It'll, it's asking if someone clicks the learn more button and the learn more button goes underneath your ad. So when people read the ad, if they wanna learn more about it, they can click learn more. And where do you wanna take them? You wanna take them to your landing page that you created in Agent Martin. You want them to contact you. So what you're gonna do here is you're once again gonna to go to your landing page, copy the landing page URL. You then go to back to your Facebook and you're going to paste in the landing page. Okay, so home ownership made easy. If you wanna learn more, I'm gonna take you to this landing page where you can give me your name, email and your phone number. You do have to, click on special ad category because you notice Facebook says if it's any, if your ad's about credit, employment, housing, which it is housing or social issues, elections or politics, you must click this button. You won't get, if, if Facebook's computer sees that it's a housing ad and you don't click this, you're gonna sit there and wonder, well, why hasn't my ad been reviewed and approved? Why is it not running? Well, it's because this button didn't get clicked. And all it does in housing, just so you know what it does, when you click this special ad category, for housing, what it's saying, to, Facebook is saying, then, then you cannot say, I only wanna run this ad again to, to males or to females. Gender is everybody, male or female. You can't select gender. Same thing on age. You cannot say, well, I only want it to go to people that are um, 25 to 45. Nope, you can't do that in a housing ad. It's all age groups. What you do, where you'll be able to differentiate is in the interest, and I'll show you that shortly. So it says, what ad category makes it special? The ad category is housing. With that, you're then gonna come down here, audience, okay? Who should see your ad? Well, what I would do is I would click the edit pencil. And again, remember here the audience, Gender, you notice it's grayed out, men and women, you can't, you can't change gender. You got a big red circle there, you can't change age, but you can change locations. And so what I typically will do is I'll start out with, um, you know, where you're located. Okay, so they're in Naperville, Illinois. Cool. And it maps it. And again, you notice that it says plus 15 miles. That's the max radius that you can do when it's a housing ad. Again, because we say it's special ad that it's housing, Facebook will not let you go out 50 miles, but Facebook will let you create more circles. So then what I do is I say, okay, well, why don't we go to Chicago, Illinois. Okay, and now I'm covering that. It uh, looks like maybe I can put another circle up here by Schomburg. So why don't we go S-C-H-A-U-M, Schomburg. And it looks like... Hey, Glenn. Yeah. Um, I was able to increase mileage on the bottom. See, it says 15 miles under your circles. Yep. If you move that, you can get more miles. You can, but I don't know if you'll get it. You can. And it's kind of like you can create this ad without even saying it's a special ad. Uh -huh. When it goes into review, you may get it kicked out. Okay. So yeah. when their computer sees that it's a housing ad, but they see your circumferences are greater than 15, that's where you'll, you might 
you might get it kicked out. Oh, okay. So this is just a safe way of, of staying within, quote unquote, the rules of Facebook and saying, okay, I'll just do more concentric circles. So the last one I'm going to do here is going to be Tinley Park. So I capture all around the Chicago land area. And there's Tinley Park. And so, as you can see, you know, that's kind of how I, if you want to call it cheated the system, but I've got all this territory covered and within a 15 mile radius of each one of those cities. Okay, cool. So now what I want to do is I want to, I want to show certain, I don't want everybody. In other words, I don't want the teenager that has had no interest in real estate. You know, he's more interested in the latest, you know, rap star or whatever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit browse. And I'm going to look at the interest that I think I want people that meet at least one. And some of them are already up here. People say that have expressed an interest in mortgage loans, home appliances, house hunting. But what else might people that we would want to talk to with our ad? So when I look at this, I got accounting. You know, I might like to talk to people who are in apartments because their first month's rent and security deposit might be something that um, they'd be interested in knowing could be the 1% that they need to meet uh, Ida's program and to get into a $300,000 home. Uh, with the, the same logic for an apartment guide, apartment list, people that have gone gone to or have interest in apartments.com. Um, keep going down the line here. Building bungalow business, business development, business travel. Uh, computing, construction, corporation, cottage. Customer service, day trading, debit card, electrical engineering, employment. state here come some people how about people that might be interested in finance people that might be interested in financial services a first-time buyer how about a first-time home buyer grant that's what ida is how about somebody might be interested in a fixer upper how about for sale by owner convincing that they shouldn't be doing for sale by owner that they'll get much more benefit by using your services Four-wheel drive, franchising, fundraiser, well, garage. I'm, I'm not sure that that's that appropriate, but we'll click it. It doesn't hurt. Let's keep going here. Um, I don't think we want the people in the gated community right now. Um, graphic design, grocery store, hatchback. Um, home. Yep. Anybody who's interested in a home, we want that. Um, I don't know about home appliances, maybe automation, home business, construction, people that might be interested in a home equity instead of a home equity, maybe they need to look at how easy it is to, to buy their next home or home equity line of credit or home equity loan or home improvement. Instead of doing a home improvement, how about, uh, how about people that are interested in home insurance or home repair? People that are interested in a house, people that are house hunting. How about um, an investor? How about uh, kitchen land? How about land? How about land in houses? How about a, a land lot? I don't know about if they're interested in their landlord, but we'll check it. How about if they're interested in a lease, they think they can't buy yet because they haven't heard from you that you've got money, you got $10,000. How about uh, people that are interested in a loan? How about people that, uh, let's see what else we got here, marketing, mathematics, mobile banking, mobile home, 
mortgage loans. We almost skipped that. Let's let's get in here. People that are looking at a mortgage calculator. Hey, they're they're trying to figure out their payments, mortgage insurance. How about mortgage loans? How about an owner occupier? Somebody wants to owner occupy a place. I don't know about the penthouse today, but uh, photography, plumbing. Oh, how about getting pre-qualified for a loan? I think that, I don't know about Zillow and Trulia, premier agent, private equity, programming. Uh, people that are interested in uh, property finder. There it is. Property management, public relations, real estate agent. How about they're interested in real estate, period. Real estate appraisal, development, economics, real estate investing. Real estate license, real property they're interested in. How about if they're interested in realtor. Well, that realtor.com pro, I think, is to get leads to realtors. So that wouldn't be recruitment. Rent to own. They don't think they can own, so they want to rent. How about if they're interested in renter's insurance and we tell them that they shouldn't be renting? How about if they're interested in renting and we'll tell them how they can buy for less than their first month's rent and security deposit. How about a residential area? Return on investment, reverse mortgages, SUVs, security, sedan, self-employment, small business, solar power, and we're done. Okay, so I think we've uh, done a oh, starter home. Good thing I didn't uh, leave it yet. All right, so we now have a basket full of interest. So at least we're, we're, we, we've filled up this detail marketing with a whole bunch of people. If they meet any of these types, we would like to talk to them. We would like them to see our ad. So uh, Facebook is saying your audience definition is well-defined, cool. The estimated audience size, is 4.2 million to 4.9 million. Wouldn't that be great if we could reach them all? So it says in my notes, then click save the audience. So let's click save the audience. Okay, so here's our audience. We said it was uh, Chicago, Naperville, Schaumburg, Tinley, people who match these interests. And let's continue to see what else it says on here. It says, we can run this ad for seven days, um, which, is, which is not bad. And again, let's, let's talk a little bit. You guys are in business for yourselves, right? Um, you, gotta, you gotta be able to say, if I make a $5,000 commission, I need to spend some money on marketing or advertising. What I do is I say, well, I'd like to spend about, oh, anywhere, about $120 a month on Facebook ads. So I might spend $35 to $40 each week, you know, times four, you know, that's going to be, you know, somewhere around $120 to $140, you know, a month. And so I'm going to go for seven days. Uh, I'm going to spend uh, $5 a day. I'm also going to sync it with Instagram. I don't want Messenger. I want Facebook. I want to, I want to, you, you either, you have to choose whether it's Facebook or Messenger. And so I'm going, I want it to be in, in Facebook for the people that see this ad. And I want it to be in Instagram. I could do, I'm, I'm not going to do the pixel right now. So I'm going to turn it off. We'll talk about that at another time. And what I'm going to do is my payment method. I can get it down here. All 
I may have to go, I'm not going to waste your time, but I may have to put more money in, you know, I got a credit card. It's saying I get, I've got ad credits of $3 and 15 cents. Um, oh, here it is. Your MasterCard of 342A will be charged for any amount spent beyond the value of your coupon. Okay. So the, all it's saying is, hey, I got $3.15. And then after that, it's going to go to my credit card. And it's saying over here, here's, here's, here's the, the, what we've just done. Here's the summation. The people that we're reaching on a daily basis, you see where it says daily basis here? We're reaching anywhere from 427 to 1,200 people. According to Facebook, their guesstimate is we should have 26 to 75 clicks of that link, that landing page that says, hey, I'm interested in home ownership. The ad will run for seven days at $5 a day. They're going to charge me $35. They don't charge me $35 at once. They charge me based upon the number of people that click on that landing page. And once it gets to $35, I'm done. But, you know, because that's going to be the budget. But the, the estimate is I'm going to run, it's going to run each day and I'm going to spend $5 a day for $35. So with that, if I move this over again, there is our promote now button, which is the same as, you know, set, you know promote the ad, create the ad. So we're going to hit promote now. Submitting your ad. And with that, our ad has been created. It always goes to in review. So within the next 24 hours, I will get a notification from Facebook that I haven't violated any of their rules. Going back to what Sabine and I were talking about, I'm not, you know, I'm not sure that they would catch it or they would, wouldn't catch it, but their rule is if it's a housing ad, 15 miles is the max radius. Uh, if I had violated um, some other rules of theirs, you know, they would, it would not be accepted and they would give me, you know, a reason for it. And then I would have to go back in and I'd have to fix the ad. So they have accepted mine over 15. Um, I was only denied if I did, if I accidentally forgot to hit that uh, special ed category. Oh, did, did you, did you, uh, oh, okay. So they, they kicked it out at first because it wasn't a special ad. Right. And, and then once you clicked special ad, they approved yeah, it. Yeah, I was able to do 18 miles and it cool. took it. So, cool. I, yeah, I don't know. They like, they They're like you more. They're very finicky. Sometimes they, they accept them and sometimes they don't. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's a, it's a maybe. I mean, you, when you read their literature, it says 15 miles, but you know, they might like you more than they like you. I thought you, it was so. 15 minimal. Okay. I thought okay. that's what that was. I thought it was minimum of 15 miles because they don't want you to be in one certain area. Like they don't want you to be so specific. Correct. Correct. They're, you know, that's why they don't allow you to go for gender, you know, right. specified gender nor age. So I and, wonder you know, now. I'm going to have to test it out. And, and, and that's why you go to, that's why those interests are very important because again, age, I mean, what if somebody's um, right. 18 years old and you know you're wasting you're wasting a look an ad on an 18 year old you yeah. want somebody that's in the marketplace and they said look at you know, look at how many people they said had you know after we loaded in all of our interests we clicked all those buttons I, I, I haven't done those so i'm gonna have to do those yeah it it narrows down who's gonna see the ad so it becomes more of a laser focused ad than one the one that just Anybody and everybody is going to see it, and they may or may not have any interest in what you're what you're offering. So, are there any questions that I can answer before I just say you've been a great audience? Yeah. And, uh, thanks for yeah. being here. How many areas yeah. can you uh, put at one time? Quite honestly, it's unlimited. I mean, you'll start to see that your circles start to overlap themselves. Uh huh. You know, like mine, Chicago overlapped, uh, Naperville a little bit, and Schaumburg. But if you start going out. You know, if you start putting in nine or ten circles, you're going to be you're going to be in Indiana, you're going to be in Wisconsin. Uh -huh. um, so it just depends on you know where you're looking to get your business from. So if you were to put in three or four or five circles, you're going to cover a huge area. But there is no limitation that I know of that all of a sudden Facebook's going to say, "Oh, you have too many uh, concentric circles or areas." So you can put in as as many as you like, Melinda. 
Okay, I have one question. Sure. I went to a big meeting and I'm very active in the Philippine Nurse Association of Illinois. And so most of our guests were from Glenview and Macon. And these are teachers that were sent here from overseas to teach. And they are on a F1 visa and their visa uh, in contract for the schools ends five years from now. Now, their question was the renting, right? All of them, there were 27 of them who were sent here. That was seven months ago. And they're yep. looking for housing. Now, the, the, you know, a question uh, to me was, can they qualify to buy a home? F1 did you, visa. Did you say that their visa expires in five years? Yes. Uh huh. But they have oh, very I, good income. They make, um, what, 35 to $50 an hour. I don't, I don't see that as a problem. I mean... Um, because the DACA, yeah. we can get them uh, to be pre-qualified, right? Yeah, but you don't even have to go through DACA. I mean, it sounds a, a work visa with a five-year expiration. Mm -hmm. I mean, there is a list, which obviously I don't have in front of me now, but there's a, there's a, a list of, of uh, visas that both FHA and conventional, which you would get a better rate anyway, mm -hmm. uh, in better terms than, than, than DACA. So, I mean, I would just, I, I would just bring that to Tanya's attention or to Tony's attention that you've got people and you tell them what the visa, you know, send an email to me and to Tony and Tanya, send an email with the type of visa and they'll, they'll look it up and say, oh yeah, with that visa, they can apply just as if they were a U.S. citizen, they'll, they'll be fine. Okay, because the so, health so professionals like nurses and yep. doctors that are coming here from overseas, they have an uh, immediate immigrant visa when they come in. Correct, that's, that's what I'm saying. These immigrant visas, you know, there's some visas that are only like one-year visas. And when you told me a five-year visa, I'm going, holy cow, that's great. Yeah, because that's so, their contract. Uh -huh. Right, right. So that, to me, would be one of the visas that would would qualify, and they can do just a regular conventional or a regular FHA loan, and get the best rates and terms. So hmm. please, I do them a favor. Send in to Tony or to Tanya an email with the type of visa that it is, mm -hmm. and then you know they'll they'll opine back that says they these these people definitely would would qualify. Um, start giving us their name and their phone number and their email. And, you know, let's start having a conversation with them because they can apply just as if they were a U.S. citizen. Oh, okay. All right. Hi. Yeah, they, uh, they, they, just need, they just need that visa. That's all they would need. And, and, uh, and obviously their employment letter and their uh, pay stub showing, you know, that, you know, that they're making X amount of dollars. But, you know, that, that would be fine. Hi, go ahead. This is yes, James. Hi, Glenn. Yes, James. Hi. Uh, I always have the problem with the link with my uh, the message what I sent from my company, uh, Facebook to personal because um, uh, this, a lady just uh, say that how to do that. But is that possible? You can show me again. My problem is every time when I do it, my old post from my, my, my company uh, Facebook will repost to my company uh, Facebook again. It will never link to my personal uh, Facebook. Could you show me how to do it? Or, or uh, we can talk about it after the meeting because I don't want to delay some, others, uh, some, some other people's time. Yeah, I, I mean, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll stay on with you after we answer all the other questions, but it's gonna be very similar to what um, if you have the problem, up, see up in the upper right hand corner here, let me just, I'll get out of this screen here for a second. When, when I, this, this up here, this picture, Okay. when you change it to, you know, this is my business picture, profile yes. picture. When you change it over to your personal picture, you're now posting to your personal page. But to make it simple, which is what I did, you know, because I thought I had the, the personal picture up here, but mm -hmm. Sabina was kind enough to say, yeah. it, it didn't change. 
what I did is I opened up two Facebook uh, pages, uh, James. Okay. One is over here called the business page, okay? Okay, okay. So I'm in the business page now. And then I opened up a second one over here. Mm -hmm. Real, and I, I'm in my personal page. And all I did, because it took all of like a minute to repost what I had on the business page, because it's looking for an image. You already know the image. The image is going to be a stack of money. It's going to yeah. be uh, 1%. It's going to be... Um, you know, it's going to be a four unit apartment building, whatever the image is that you put in the business page, you're going to, you know, you're now in your personal page here. And all we did was we, you know, we, we came over and we decided that we wanted to do a post in, in our, our personal page. We, we ended up doing a, um, we uploaded the picture. We so, copied the text from the business yeah. page over to the personal page, and then we just hit post. And so now yeah. it's in both both places. Yes. Well, do you want to go to your business page? There's like a real shortcut. Go to your business page. I don't. Okay. I don't know how. Well, we still need to leave that open the back, right? Hit just hit the untaps. Hit the where it says untap right there. Hit that. Right. I'm just thinking. Should I check to see? And make okay. Sure so now you're in your business page. Go back to your picture in the corner, up on top, <laughs> right? I'm just looking for the post that we did here today. Here. So here it is. Oh, okay. It so, okay. So, so go to your picture up on top with the yeah, right there. Got it. Hit that. You see? Don't go there. Don't go down. Just hit your little picture to the right. See that little picture with the circle right around, right above HP. Yeah, or we have to wait. Hit that. Until now it's going to switch your business page with your, now you can share it. See, uh, James, do you see what Sabine is talking about? Uh, a little bit confused. I got I to get it back. Yeah, because from the right head corner. Right, so now it's, it's back. Team. Now it's back. Yeah. So now you have to go back and hit your little picture. So here's, I'm going here, hitting the picture. And I'm going back to wait till this picture becomes, there it is, switching to me. Wait till you see the picture in the upper right corner. Oh, see where it has my but face? I that thing keeps popping up and ruining it for some reason. I just okay, clicked, you know what it is? I, I just, I didn't hit the blue link to say review it. Yeah, I just, I, now I you're your it. business page, but you're sharing as your personal page. That's how so you Jay, know. So oh, James, did you, did you see it, this? I got it. You got it up here? Yeah, I got it. Uh, and then when you hit okay, the share button okay. down below, it'll share. Okay. When you go okay. to share so, down here. Okay. Let, let me summarize it. Now you can go to, share, go to share to yeah. group or share to share to feed goes to your personal, share to group okay. goes to a group. So the point is I need to go to my company Facebook page and then go to the right hand side to change a little circle to to my personal. Yeah. Then I can share. Okay, I got you. Because got I it. always I always confuse. Do I need to go through my personal or I need to go through my business first and the switch back and forth? Okay. I would I, always I would always start out in your business first because that okay. you, ultimately you're gonna want to boost the post. Yes. Got you. Okay, thank you very much. And okay. also also that uh Will you send uh, today's PowerPoint to us, or it will be on the the, the I'll website? I'll be sending the I'll be sending the recording and the agenda and the cheat sheet with all the six posts. I'll be sending a lot of stuff to you guys. Thank you very much. Go ahead. You betcha. And again, obviously, I'm available. You know, for one on one. If you get stuck on anything, just give me a call, and I'll I'll arrange for an hour session with you. Okay, great. Uh, Kevin Pritchard, you have your hand up. Yeah, thanks, Glenn. Just a quick question. Do we need a privacy policy for our landing page for boosting posts the way we need it for regular Facebook ads? Do we need a privacy policy? Yeah, when we post, when you do a Facebook ad, a regular Facebook ad, not a boost, you've got to have a privacy policy appended to your to your landing page or else the ad won't get approved wondering is there a built-in privacy policy with this platform that you're using or something yeah let's take i i, I down below yes it does Let, let's just make sure that let's 
Let me go to it. So if you go over here, do you see down below here, Kevin? Let me get out of the, get out of the way here. You see where it says all information is kept private so is that, and never is shared that with any third party. Yes. Sir. No, the privacy policy that I'm referring to, Glenn, is like a full eight and a half by eleven page long worth of legal um, nonsense. And that's what Facebook is requiring for a landing page if you do an ad. I'm just wondering, maybe the platform you're using to build the landing pages, the agent uh, platform you're using has a built-in one. But I was just wondering. I, you know, it's, I don't know of the eight and a half by 11 uh, and maybe it's you, like you say, it's a privacy policy that has to be on file with Facebook. Well, no, you have to give Facebook the URL to the page that has your privacy policy on it. Um, and it's pretty long, the ones that I've done when I've done regular Facebook ads. And I was just curious about how it works with boosting posts. I've never boosted a post yep. before. Will they? Kevin, will they did not will they not approve the uh, the ad? Then? Correct. Yeah, if I didn't have the Facebook uh, the privacy policy, they didn't approve the ad, and I had to figure that out. They never told me straight up. I kind of had to figure it around the around the bend. So that, that's that's Facebook, all right. They don't tell you anything. It's you you try and figure out why your ad got denied. <laughs> I can do a search and see whether you need a Facebook uh, privacy policy for boost posts. I just thought you might know. So, okay. I, 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 I post a lot and I don't recall having that. So, and, and I, and I've used this platform, Kevin, for 15 years, 10 years. Okay. And it's they, in, in essence, Facebook has never denied any, they've denied it for other things. Cause I, I goofed up. I didn't hit the special ad button or something like that. Okay. But, not for privacy. All I need to know. Thank you. See, that's you why I, this morning I was like oh, debating. What should I try to warn him? Any other comments or questions that we can answer? But then, yeah. Well, I'll let you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for being here. And again, uh, if you, you wouldn't Glenn. mind, you're Thank very you, welcome. Glenn. If you if you wouldn't mind, at the bottom of the agenda when you get it, there will be a request to give us a Google review at tinyurl.com merino team review I'd, we'd appreciate hearing that you guys love us and that you want more of this so you guys have a great day remember to contact tanya reyes or to, or tony marino we're here to help you grow your business have a great day